In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do some local keyword research for your business in just five minutes using free tools only. If that sounds interesting, hold your breath because we're diving in now. Hi there, my name is Luke Duran, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk. If this is your first time here today and you want to grow your local business's online presence, why don't you start by subscribing now and clicking on the bell button so you don't miss a thing. Human behavior is very predictable and people searching for local businesses are no exception. They all pretty much follow the same pattern. They go to Google, enter a service or business type and include a specific location in the Google search box, then click on one of the top results. Whether the search is made in what I would call Google Classic or Google Maps, the behavior remains the same. And if your business does not get listed for the keywords that are being searched for in the top results, then you won't get any traffic, simple. The question is, which keywords should you be targeting? If you don't know where to start and find local keyword research overwhelming, here is a simple way of doing it quickly, efficiently, and for free. Open either a Google Sheet or an Excel spreadsheet and simply start listing the various services you provide. I'm going to use the example of one of my clients located in London who is in the cleaning business and offers services such as carpet cleaning, rug cleaning, office carpet cleaning, mattress cleaning, etc. And create a column for each service with one column gap between each of them. Once you have added your services in a spreadsheet, combine the location keyword you are targeting to each service, in this example, London. That's it. This handful of keywords are likely going to be your primary keywords list. The services keywords can be used as the backbone of your website structure, while the entire key phrase service plus location can be used within the content of your page. If you are not entirely sure which services you should choose or if you feel you have forgotten some, here is a nifty little tool you can use. This SEO keyword tool has been specifically designed to help small businesses search for relevant local keywords for their business. It's super simple to use. Select a business type from the first drop down. Let's stick with our cleaner example and select the cleaning option. This will automatically list a range of services you can easily select by using tick boxes next to what you think applies to your business. So let's choose carpet cleaning, rug cleaning, mattress cleaning, and office carpet cleaning. I can see there are plenty of other options available such as Airbnb cleaning, apartment cleaning, that could easily apply to my business, which I didn't think about. So let's add them to the selection. Once you're done, click on the service type and add the location you are targeting to the location box and click on generate keywords. And that's it. You'll have a nice keyword list automatically generated for you, which you can download in a CSV format. Alternatively, you can copy and paste the selection directly into your spreadsheet and sort it according to the service type and add new categories or keywords variations. Straight away, I can see some interesting keyword I didn't think about initially, like cheap carpet cleaning, professional carpet cleaning, and carpet cleaning services. Let's pick another example, but this time use an air conditioning type of business and use the following services, 24 hour air conditioning repair, air conditioning installation, air conditioning maintenance, and air conditioning repairs as services. But this time, we're gonna add multiple locations. Let's say our air conditioned business is located in Florida and we want to be found in Tampa, Orlando and Jacksonville. And look at this. All you need to do is download your CSV file and import it into your Google Sheet. Add a filter to your column and all that you need to do is select the specific location you want to look at. This should take you under a minute to create. You could stop right here if you wanted, as it would be more than enough to cover most of what people are looking for. But let's try to expand our keyword list a little further. This time, we're going to use the simplest tools of them all, Google. Google always tried to anticipate what searchers are looking for and developed a long time ago a feature called autocomplete, which makes it faster to complete searches that you're beginning to type. The suggestions are based on popularity, meaning that any keyword suggested is likely to be a highly searched one. If I type one of my main keywords in the search box, such as Carpet Cleaning London, I can see another three suggestions I haven't thought about. Carpet Cleaning London Prices, Carpet Cleaning London Costs, and Carpet Cleaning E14, which is an area of London. 
I can add these to my Google spreadsheet for the carpet cleaning service category. Just repeat this process for each of your services and add them to your spreadsheet. Quick tip, you can use the autocomplete feature a little further using the wildcard symbol within your search, which Google will substitute with more words. So if I put a wildcard before carpet cleaning London, I can see other suggestions like best carpet cleaning London and deep carpet cleaning London. You can even do it right in the middle of the query and here I get even more suggestions like carpet cleaning North London, East London, West London, all of which I can add to my list. You should by now have a fair amount of keywords you can play with, but let's step it up even more and head over to a tool called nilpatel.com slash ubersuggest. I have mentioned this tool many times before when it was entirely free. Sadly, some features have now become payable, but it still offers a number of free options you can use. Enter the keywords you are looking for in the search box, then select the appropriate country and click search. You will be presented with a bunch of data in relation to your keyword, including the monthly search volume and SEO difficulty, which are very useful. If you scroll down, you'll see a short list of keyword ideas. Click on the button, view all keyword ideas, and it will bring up the entire list. Here I suggest you download the CSV file. You will be prompted to log into a Google account. If you do not have one, create one. Once you've logged in, click on export to CSV. You will see a pop-up window warning you that more than 100 keywords were found and therefore you could upgrade your account to get full access to all available keywords. Simply ignore it and click on no thanks. All you need to do now is import the CSV file from wherever it was saved on your computer into a new Google Sheet. Copy the keyword and volume column, then paste it into your master keyword list in the appropriate category. In this case, Carpet Cleaning London. Remove the row that says keyword and search volume. If you go back to Ubersuggest, you will notice there are other possibilities you should consider, such as related keywords, questions, prepositions, and comparison, which you can also export and bring into your sheet. We won't do this today, and I will leave it up to you to make that decision. At this point, you might see some keyword duplicates within your list as we collected them from different sources, so it might be an idea to do some cleaning up. Just highlight the column you want to check and select the format option and conditional formatting. In a format rules option, click on the drop down and choose custom formula. In the value field, type the following formula. Don't worry, it's in the description below, you just have to copy and paste it. And make sure the right column is entered in there. So in my case, it is B. If your column is different, just replace the B with the name of the column. This will highlight all the keyword duplicates you have within your list. Simply delete them. By now, you should have a very exhaustive list of keywords you can refer to whenever you want to create some content on your website, but we need to choose which ones we should prioritize. This is generally done through volume data, as the more times a keyword is searched for, the more traffic it will drive. Since we only have data for a selected number of keywords, it's a bit tricky to do, and ideally, we need to understand the volume for all of our keywords, or at the very least, the ones we think are likely to drive the most traffic. Go to Google and search for Keyword Surfer, then click on the Keyword Surfer Google Chrome link, which should be the top result. Click the Add to Chrome option and then the Add extension, which should automatically install the extension on your toolbar. Click on the Keyword Surfer icon and turn the Show Domain Data in SERP slider off, then open a new browser window and search for a keyword which we don't have the data for, such as Cheap Carpet Cleaning London. You should now see the estimated volume for the keyword you've searched for, which you can add to your list. Repeat this procedure for all the keywords you're missing data for. If you want to see the results for a different country, just click on the Keyword Surfer icon and amend accordingly. Keyword Surfer will also add two tables to your search results, which include similar keywords and related searches, which can be very useful too. 
Once you've got volumes for all the keywords you feel are the most important ones, you might want to create a separate sheet for each of your service and copy and paste the data you've collected so it's easier to use and clean up. Then order the volume from the highest to the lowest so you know which keywords you should be prioritizing. Keyword research is the cornerstone of online visibility and will be the driver of the content you need to create on your website. Failing to do an effective local keyword research will have dramatic consequences for your business later on. It's almost like building a house on quicksand. These steps are super easy to follow. Once completed, you can refer to your spreadsheet time and time again to create additional content which you'll know matches what people are searching for. That's it for today. As always, if you have any comments or questions, post them in the comment below and I'll do the best to respond to them. Until next time, happy marketing.